to say this, and I was going to say it earlier, and I said, ah, you lost my train of thought. When you're on the right path, if people start attacking you and things like that, that means you are on the right path because nobody kicks a dead dog. So if you're out there doing something with your life, you're going to get kicked. So especially when you start getting some momentum going, believe me, I get kicked from time to time. So you know, I talked to a friend on the phone last night, told him what I was doing. They're like, let's put it this way, I'm not going to talk to them again on the phone. So it just happens, you know? So not everybody's gonna agree with you. Nobody sees with what you see. So remember, you know, uh, we, all, we all perceive things in a different way. We all have something different in our heart. We all have a gift to give, our talent. I read the quote the other day, you know, um, God gives us a talent. That our gift to us from God is the talents that we have. Our gift back to God is using those talents. So. And to be honest with you, 80% of people never, ever, ever open up their heart and find that talent. Because if you can't find what, what you're supposed to be doing, it's inside of your heart. You've got to open your heart. And once you open your heart and you go inside and start realizing why you do the things you do and why you've done the things you've done and where it all stems from, then you can, it helps you to realize who you are, but honor who you are, honor every experiences that you've had. You know, we've all had some bad experiences maybe as a child. I know I had some <laughs> some trying experiences when I was a child. But once you learn what they are, and you can forgive everybody and everything. So I just have to say that. So don't be afraid to get out there. It's never too late for you to do something great. You're never too it's never too old to be you're never too old to be bold. Never too never too never too old to set some goals. So just get out there and do it. Be fearless. I believe in you. I believe in me. God believes in you. Remember, I said this at the beginning, and I heard this on MASH a long time ago. Father Mulcahy was talking when he did a Patrick Swayze. If you ever look at the episode, look for the episode of MASH when Patrick Swayze was on there. There's a great message in it. But basically, Patrick Swayze found out he had leukemia and he was dying. This was back in the 50s when it was a death sentence. And he still wanted to stay behind and not go get treatment and stay with his buddies. And he says, don't I have a right to, to you know, I know I'm going to die. Don't I have a right to do with the time that I have left here on this planet? And so Father McKinney had to do a sermon the next day in front of the, the bishop, the archbishop. And he said that um, God, and ultimately he said, God wants to live through us. That God wants to live through us. And that's the truth. So you have to do what's in your heart and God will live through you in a big way. Thank you. <laughs>